Hey guys, what's up? Bisectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with my next video, and I'm looking at some Town Hall 10 Valk action, uh, two attacks to show to you guys today, and uh, both very nice three stars by our Town Hall 10s in this kind of social event, whatever you want to call it, just a laid back war we did in a clan that One Hive created, um, just to do this war. So anyway, um, once again, thanks for you guys for answering the survey. I have quite a few responses already that I'm looking at. Um, so can't thank you guys enough. That really helps your input. Uh, so yeah, thanks for that. Um, but looking at Chaos's attack, comes in here and is lucky that the giant doesn't attract the healers too much because the healers were initially going to heal the giant. And uh, if that happened, the queen would, wouldn't have gotten healed up. They would have just stuck on the giant, which has happened to me a ton of times. But luckily the queen started taking some damage and the healers got off the giant, uh, which died, and then they went on to the uh, queen. So everything worked out nicely. For whatever reason, she's out of range, I guess, of the barracks and the archer tower. So she goes ahead and beats on the wall. Not that big of a deal. And uh, comes in at the bottom here with giants and a few wizards. I like giants with Valks because the giants can soak up the streams of the Inferno and really make it so the Valks aren't taking any damage, by the Inferno at least, um, which the golems don't do because they only take up one slot. So they're not going to soak up as much of the Inferno. But anyway, comes in here with the giants and the king. And kind of an interesting thing happens here. I'm not sure how intentional this was, but the, a funnel is kind of created because the king, the giants go to the left side for the most part and into the core. And when he sends in his main group of like 12 Valks or however many, 15, I don't know, um, they go to that little island right there of defenses. And then the jump takes them straight into the core. So uh, the funnel was perfect. I'm not sure how much of that was planned or what, whatever, but it worked out awesome. Uh, pops the queen's ability and those valks under rage just tear through the core uh, the freeze helped too and that has the heal for them once the infernos are down uh, they can be healed back up and they'll tear through the rest of this base the queen's still doing work up top taking out buildings uh, the healers are on her she's back at full health very nice attack uh, crushed this base max level town hall 10 i think pretty much most stuff was maxed out not the best design obviously kind of a weird layout but Whatever, still a three star, still use, using the Valks very nicely. Good job to Chaos, great attack. All right, uh, last building goes down. And then just gonna take a look one more. It's gonna be a short video, but um, I'm gonna have another video coming out tonight, I think, so I'll, ke I'll keep the content coming. We're looking at Cotton Eye Joe, and you might have saw his first attack if you watched the survey video. That was the background there. Six star war, he's a new Town Hall 10, and doesn't even have max heroes for Town Hall 9, so very low level heroes for a Town Hall 10 trying to 3 star another Town Hall 10. Granted, this is kind of a new Town Hall 10 also, but it does have the level 2 Inferno and a level 1 Inferno, plus pretty solid hero levels and, um, you know, max defenses for Town Hall 9, <clears throat> plus the new Expo and stuff. So a solid base and not easy to 3 star by any means, especially when you're talking Town Hall 9 level heroes. Town Hall 9 level troops here, only has level 4 Valks and level 5 Hogs, so hasn't even maxed those out yet, plus the Wizards, pretty much all his troops are still Town Hall 9 level, uh, does have the extra spell, and I think he has at least, I think 235 maybe, troops, uh, camp space, maybe 240, I'm not sure, but he does have a little bit extra troop space, um, so that does help, but still an awesome attack to get this 3 star on this base, uh, not easy to do with his level stuff. Comes in with the queen walk, just cleared out that compartment. Then the Valks, the king, just kind of storming this base. Drops down the poison. Kind of hard to see what's happening, but uh, the freeze is good on the Inferno. Only level 2 freeze, but it's still going to last for a little while. Uh, the king, the Valks, everything moving forward. Uh, the Inferno is getting a few, is getting the rays off on the Valks, but has another freeze for the second Inferno. And those uh, Valks just tear through the core of this base. Um, they don't go to that last Inferno for whatever reason, but the hog deployment was excellent. Comes in with the hogs, and the Inferno on its own isn't going to do much damage to your hogs. The only really threat of the Inferno is that it blocks heals, but no other defense was targeting the hogs, so we just sent them in. Uh, they burned right through that Inferno, and then the healer actually got onto the hogs, which helped a little bit, plus has a heal spell for the hogs themselves. Um, and they're just going to work through the rest of this base. A few defenses still up, some HP in that area. Uh, the Lava Hound is there, but no big deal. Lava Hound doesn't mean anything. And it has, you know, 12 hogs still at full health. Pretty impressive. I was surprised how much he wrecked this base. Now this last gi giant bomb goes off um, along with like a small bomb. So the hogs are pretty much 
uh, dead pigs walking, I think is what someone said in the comments, uh, especially with those next few bombs. Look at those hogs. Yeah, I mean, those are those are like less than skeletons right there. So uh, the Lava Hound actually does start taking them out one by one because it does, a, it does like no damage, but it does enough to, you know, take out a hog with that's that low health. So that one little shot from it is taking out hogs one by one. It is in the poison, so it's it's going down, or it's not going down, but it's, it's slowed down at least. So that helps. Kind of a funny ending because this this lava hound, which you typically think does like no damage, is one shotting these hogs, and he was pretty low on time here. But uh, the queen's coming around, and uh, they're gonna get over there. Fortunately, the queen doesn't lock onto the hound. She just shoots straight at that army camp, and everything goes okay at the end. Gets the three star. Got a little bit tight at the end, but it was an awesome attack, great deployment. Uh, watch that again if you're a Town Hall 10. That was, that's something to you know build off of and learn from. So anyway, thanks for watching the video, guys. Kind of a short one, I know, um, but I'm gonna have more videos coming out, so you guys will see more uh, different type videos. I, I'm looking at the survey results, so I'm gonna use that as kind of a guide for me to know what kind of videos you guys want to see. Uh, but I'll go over the results later. Uh, if you haven't filled that out, uh, consider doing it. It helps a lot. But anyway, thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bisectatron out.